Hi everybody, welcome back. And uh, I had a few questions about Cobra technique, and we talked about some Cobra drills in one of our uh, previous videos, and people asked me if I could demonstrate you know, what Cobra looks like in an actual application. And then I also had some questions uh, from other people about uh, what I think are the nicest releases in, uh, in the stick fighting arts. And uh, I thought maybe I could sort of kill two birds with one stone here, combine both sets of concepts, and give you some ideas of things to practice. So let's just, for purposes of discussion today, uh, call these the eight great uh, Arnie's disarms because uh, I mean these these are the ones that you want to master uh, if you expect to go anywhere or to do anything with the stick fighting arts. And there's other ones that are that are also excellent, but these are just uh, uh, the foundation skills that you have to have absolute command over. Okay, so we're here, and uh, let's just say the attacker uh, comes at uh, with a cut to the uh, side. So I block. First one is the cobra wrapping this arm. Okay, so if you come up to a close-up of this, he attacks, I meet the attack, and I'm doing a soft block here. And the cobra wraps and attacks the joint that's holding the weapon. Now I have other options that I can employ here if I choose, but that's not the focus of this particular. He comes on the opposite side. Uh, uh, the same technique will work if he's doing a cut from the opposite direction. I need it. Doing exactly the same technique, so his arm is in an opposite orientation to me. It still works. And this also works if he attacks low. I go low, disarm and counter. Likewise, if he comes at me from the opposite side, I go underneath, do the disarm, and engage the attack. So those are the first two techniques. Left side, right side. The second two techniques, numbers three and four, he attacks. This is a cobra trap. See how that works? It attacks opposite side. Like the first technique, this works equally well both sides. Cobra trap. Now what's nice about this, you can see if, if I focus on how I'm orienting to this one, I can actually strike him with his own weapon using the motion to its completion as I do to this one. So you have four techniques so far. The uh, Fifth and sixth techniques are stripping against a straight in thrust. So say he pokes at me with this way. The disarm is here. Now this isn't quite as much cobra as it is crane. You'll see why it's, it's referred to as a crane technique just by observing my general motion as it comes in. See, it's very much like a crane in the way that it unfolds. Again, crane is inherent in motion. So it's a complete disarm. And it works both ways. So uh, uh, if he comes off the side, around, combine them with the earlier moves. Okay? So there you have six techniques. You have cobra one, cobra stripping, and you have the crane. Crane both ways. Okay, the next one is back uh, to cobra, but it combines crane and cobra and, and, and begins to take a whole different type of orientation as to what the mechanics of the move are. Because it becomes like a scissors or a cutting type of action. So I say he's going to try second, cut me down across the middle. I meet him, and everything is set up right here. And as I meet him, the cutting occurs. Again, he comes across, in, cut. Several different ways you can cut. You can see that they're all equally effective. Uh, you can just experiment with that uh, uh, and let me know what you find. He cuts across the opposite side. Same technique works opposite side. Cutting. Okay. One more time. Opposite side. In, down. And it puts his uh, vital targets uh, in my immediate area of access should I choose to respond. Okay, so there you have 
Two techniques, cobra, two techniques, strip, two techniques, crane, two techniques, scissors. Eight wonderful techniques that can take you to full mastery in stick fighting if you uh, choose to research them further. Thanks for visiting with us again today. Bye.